Looking for cheap MT and much 16 coin? Head on down to logger.com. Hey guys, what's up? It's your boy J Rob447 back at again with some NCAA basketball 10 action. In this game, we're going up against the number four team in the country, Ohio State. And if you guys remember, we went against Ohio State in the first round of the NCAA tournament. Uh, about our that was our first season, and we got the win. Deion Nesmith he led the way. Now we have a whole different cast. There is no one from that team. That is on this team today. So we're going against them again. Um, honestly, it was a great game to watch. But you guys, we did switch up a little things. We have Oliver Goodwin starting this game. You're gonna see Goodwin and James Poe like um, alternating starting positions because I really don't know who to start because either of them could come off and have a spark off the bench. So starting off a good pick and roll play, it's gonna lead to a Ben Mason getting fouled by Enu Holman, but. Ohio State is one of the toughest places to play, and that crowd definitely came into effect. I mean, look at that. I couldn't even release it at the right point because the crowd was so loud. It was vibrating my controller. It was almost impossible. So, Ben Mason misses both free throws. So, Ohio State has a lead 4-0 right now. They're going to pass it to the top of the key and that is going to be a three for Ohio State we're down 7-0 that is not the way we want to start our game so Brian Ramsey has the ball kicks it out to Oliver Goodwin who misses it but Damian Hastings with the putback he was outside of the paint and he still got that to go that is athleticism so the score 7-2 Tim Crawford passing it to Oliver Goodwin who gets it to go this time around so that makes it only a two-point game so same starters in about 12 minutes left and pfft, Tim Crawford knocking down the three we're on an 8-0 run the Buckeyes cannot stop us right now so Tim Crawford has the ball yet again getting a pick from Damian Hastings taking it to the rack strong gets the dunk to go making it a 10-7 ball game so a little two-man action that's gonna lead to a Brian Ramsey bucket easy pickings for Brian Ramsey coming off that pick and we're still up this time it's 12 to 9 Damian Hastings he's gonna pass to Oliver Oliver Goodwin knocking down the shot our starters are getting it done so the score is 18 to 3 Ben Mason pushing it a little hop step thought he got fouled he did get fouled and gets the and one so he'll be going to the line Ben Mason the sophomore a majoring in political science he might be the next Barack Obama and this time he gets his free throw to go uh, uh, Brutus Buck, I cannot believe it. So, score is 21 to 13. We're up by 8. What about 7.22 to go? Damian Hastings knocking down this shot. Uh, our starting our starting lineup is doing really good, but that's not the type of defense we can have if we're trying to win the game. All right, you guys see I do have the freshman. Uh, I believe his name is Joshua Everidge in the game. I keep forgetting. I'm, don't, don't get mad at me. I forget my freshman's name, all right? There's two point guards. It's hard to remember the names. It's Tyson Chambers, Joshua Everidge, and Shaka Wimberly. So, Shaka Wimberly in the game now score is 25 to 15 but look at the dunk by Damian Hastings Hastings is definitely leading the way for us as he's been doing for four years this guy has been absolutely amazing and look at the move by James Poe James Poe is probably like yeah coach can you start me now with moves like that so we're up by nine with about 430 to go Greg Wheeler takes it the distance to get the layup we're shooting 50% meanwhile Ohio State is only shooting 40% this is a good game I believe we should be ranked a lot Lot higher but the fact that we're mid-major is probably the reason why we're not ranked higher and uh Ben Mason with the beautiful Euro step takes it to the cup gets the bucket to go so we're up by 15 Ohio State they're just making bad plays all around where where that was a bad play but look who knocks down the shot that's average our freshman getting his shot to go so we're up by 17 Greg Wheeler passing it to Ben Mason in transition that's easy buckets yet again Ohio State we're throttling Ohio State that's what's happening so Ben Mason it, taking it to the cup once again it's been Ben Mason all first half folks it has been Ben Mason. If you're wondering, J. Rob, why did you, why did you do that? I had to turn down some of the sliders. The sliders are my usual sliders, but I turned it down because I wanted this game to be a little more competitive. But still, we're getting easy buckets to fall. Damian Ben Mason is a five for five. So going into halftime, we're up by 20 points. That is absolutely insane. These. These Buckeyes don't know what hit them, all right? That game when we played them in our first season, it was a close game throughout. That was one of the best games I've ever played 
on NCAA basketball 10 and I, I I'm not gonna lie I honestly do miss games like that but sometimes in our conference schedule we do get games like that you guys see the Buckeyes are only shooting 37%. They're not getting any bench production. Our bench has came out to play. Our forwards are doing absolutely wonderful. Ben Mason, t um, t Tim Crawford, I'm sorry, I had a tongue twister, and Damian Hastings have all been getting theirs. I mean, that's what we need, and our guards have been doing pretty good. They haven't been turning over the ball. So, Ben Mason come to set the pick for Byron Ramsey, but look who's in the corner. Wide open. Cannot... To the, that's Oliver Goodwin. You know his stroke is deadly from deep. And once again, Ben Mason. Looks like he's having a little coming out party. So we're up big time with 10 minutes left to go in the game. And that is Brian Ramsey taking it strong to the hoop. This, ha this half-court style by Ohio State. They can't keep up with us. And look, we just rain in threes. That, this time it's Tim Crawford from the corner. We're up by 18. Jared Hinton is in the game. Our senior makes the man jump, shoots the J, knocks it down. Jared Hinton, man. I really missed giving him a lot of playing time last year. It was kind of hard because we had two other seniors. But this time he's going to get a little more playing time. Don't worry. Don't worry about it. So we're up by 15. Jared Hinton kicks it into the corner to Tyson Chambers, the freshman who knocks down a jump shot on another one of our freshman point guards. So Ohio State has been chipping away at this lead. You guys see we're only up by 13 this time. So Tyson Chambers to Shaka Wimberly, freshman to freshman, man. That is the future of the pride right there. That is the future. And Shaka Wembley's gonna get fouled right there. I believe that's Holman on the foul. So Shaka Wembley oh, averaging four points, but he, next year he'll definitely be getting his. Definitely, he's gonna be in the starting lineup. Same thing with Ben Mason. He's gonna be getting his. He, he I don't think he, maybe he could turn into that guy that Damian Hastings is. I don't. I don't think we'll ever see another Damian Hastings. He is really that guy but you guys see Ohio State they're not backing down they're only down by 12 in a minute to go and if you guys saw that um you and I Texas A&M game you know it's not over till it's over you and I was up 12 with 50 seconds left and they took the L so this game's not over we still gotta play we still gotta play so Doug Hill commits the foul on our guy Greg Wheeler so he'll be going to the line Greg Wheeler averaging five points a game He's going to knock down his first free throw. He is 100% from the line this season, baby. He's automatic. So you know he's making that one. So we're up by 11. And the second free throw puts us up by 12. And Bobby Peterson, pa Bobby Patterson, whatever his name was, commits the foul. So Greg Wheeler knocks down his first free throw, making it 11-point making it game with 35 seconds left. But Bricks is second. So... The Ohio State Buckeyes really couldn't do anything, so we're basically going to hold the ball, secure this win in Value City Arena in Columbus, and I don't know why Greg Wheeler threw up that shot. I, that, that was unnecessary, but nevertheless, we get the victory, an 11-point victory, but it was pretty much a blowout, honestly. The Buckeyes, they did try to come back in the end, but if you think about it, I had all my bench players in at the end, so that's probably the reason why. But anyway, you guys see total domination from our forwards. That's what the game, that's the game we need from our forwards. I really wish Ben Mason could have a lot more games like that. Hopefully he does, because I know he is capable, and we need him to produce, because next year he's going to be that guy in the middle as well. So anyway, it's been another J-Rob video. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, and peace.